perfect summer sandal. So I want to like kind of get good at it. Hot pink tips. I am running a couple of errands on my lunch break. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. We are doing a week in my life this week. It's a little bit of a shorter week because I had yesterday off as a lot of us did for Memorial Day. So it is Tuesday and we are kicking off this week in my life. If you don't know, I work from home in healthcare. So it can be a little bit difficult for me to talk about and vlog work. So I tend to not do that quite so much. So here and there we'll discuss it, but for the most part, I'll just be taking you guys along on my week besides my days at work. Good morning, I hope everyone makes this week a really great week. I've got my eye patches on. I woke up on the right side of the bed today, which is always great. Let's make a lemon water and a coffee to get the day started. I've shared this before, but in case you missed it, I love lemon waters in the morning, but I tend to like not have time to squeeze a lemon if I'm in a rush or you know, they've gone bad or whatever. So I saw this where you can just squeeze them into ice molds and then have lemon ice cubes and it melts right into your water and it's perfect. I do one lemon per cube, so one cube is like perfect. Good morning, Frank. <laughs> it's supposed to be like 90 something degrees today and the temperature is rising very rapidly as the day goes on. So I'm gonna try and get in my walk now before it gets too hot for this guy. My goal this week is to walk every single day, at least 30 minutes, if not an hour. So today we're gonna go for an hour. Hopefully I beat the heat, it's 78 now. I do not want it to get much hotter, so. I am running a couple of errands on my lunch break. I have just a few hours of work left, but I wanted to run out of the house for about 30 minutes or so. I need to run and deposit a check. I got back some money from my old apartment for my security deposit, so that's great. I'm gonna deposit that, and then while I'm at the bank, it's right by like a Marshalls and Target. And I need to get my friend a birthday present. I'm throwing her a party on Friday, Sam. So I want to grab her a birthday present and maybe look for a few things for myself as well since I have a little bit of time right now between the stuff I'm doing for work. So I'm going to go deposit this check and then go spend it at Marshalls basically. <laughs> Honestly, Marshalls was a total bust. I swear that's why I don't go in store anymore. I just like can't. I don't have the patience and I can't find stuff. So I'm just gonna go home and order her some stuff from Amazon because I know I can find stuff on there easily. That's like my issue is I just, I don't, I don't like shopping in person anymore. I like really just don't like it. <laughs> so we're gonna go to my tried and true, which is Amazon. But I'll still show you guys what I order. I think it should come in. Well, it has to come in before Friday for this walk, so. Okay, let's go get in a workout. I'm gonna do my back workout today. This top is H&M. These shorts are from Amazon. I love them. I ordered them in a second color because I love them so much. They're so comfy. They're like very buttery Lulu type material. And then I'm just going to throw on my white Nike sneakers. But I'm going to do back. I'm going to take some along new pre-workout and get in our workout for the day. Cheers to a good workout. And I'm gonna make some of these BCAAs in my shaker bottle for me to drink in the car on the way back. Good morning, everybody. I'm sitting down to get my day started. It's about nine in the morning. It's kind of a later start for me today. I slept in a little bit, but 
that's all right. We are sitting down now. I didn't have any meetings or anything, so it's really no big deal. That is something I like about my job is it's like as long as you get your work done, you know, if you want to work some odd hours, like if one day you want to work 12 to 8, like you could. I would never do that, but you could. I guess never say never. So sitting down to get my day started. The reason I slept in is because last night I started the fourth season of Stranger Things and binged like five of the episodes because it's really good. So I think I have two episodes left and I'm sure I'll finish those tonight. If not tonight, then tomorrow. Because I do have kind of a busy day today. Yeah, if you watch Stranger Things, let me know what you think of the new season. I think it is really good and I was like scared. I scare myself at night sometimes and so I decided it'd be a good idea to watch that by myself and be scared myself. <laughs> I don't know, it scares me. I've got my coffee, of course. These cups are from Crate and Barrel. They're like $3 each and they're huge and I literally love them so much. They're amazing. I bought six of them. I think people have a misconception sometimes that Crate and Barrel is expensive but honestly like, of course, they sell some really expensive high-end stuff, but I think a lot of their, like, glassware and plates and stuff are pretty reasonably priced, so I like to shop there. I was watching Bebe Hay the other day, and she was got the new, or she got the Breville espresso machine, which, let me just say, I want that so bad. Like, you guys know I'm a coffee fanatic, so, like, I want that so bad. But it is, like, nowhere, nowhere in the future near for me. It's a thousand dollars if you don't know so if i ever do buy that just i think i'll feel like i made it <laughs> she has been trying to figure out how to make espresso and i guess a barista commented on one of her videos and said that espresso has like a lifetime like a half-life or something like that so if you put it into an empty cup like i don't really know exactly what it is but something will happen so that the flavors change and the espresso isn't as rich and that's so interesting to me because lately i've been just putting my espresso in my cup and then I'll put it in the fridge for a little bit with nothing in it. And I guess the barista said you have to make the espresso in your milk. So milk first and then the espresso. And then that like saves the beans from dying or something like that. So I've been doing that and I like don't know if it's the placebo effect or what and I swear I can taste the difference. It's much more full bodied like I can really taste the espresso whereas before I literally had had moments where I was like, why is my espresso not as good as it used to be? It's because I wasn't making it like this anymore. I think she said it's like 10 to 15 seconds is how long it can be okay in the cup by itself. So like I said, I'm going to get to work for a little bit and then I do want to take a morning walk before it gets too hot out again today. Taking my lunch break to run a few errands for the pregame I'm throwing for Sam on Friday. And I also need to return this laptop case because I can link the one that I actually did get. I think it's in my previous vlog. I love it so much, but they accidentally sent me the wrong size first. They sent me the 16 inch. So they went ahead and sent me the right one, but I still have to send this one back. So I'm going to return that. I'm going to run in right now, get some liquor. Then we're going to run by the store and get some cups and like chips and salsa. I'm not going to do anything crazy, but just like, you know, some, some good basics. Super quick grocery haul. Grab some red solo cups as you guys saw. I got a big party pack of Tostitos and then some salsa. And then I've been wanting to step up my like at home cocktail game. Like instead of just doing vodka and lemonade when I'm getting ready, like kind of like actually make some fun cocktails. So I got frozen strawberries and frozen pineapple to maybe make like a good frozen drink since it is summer now. I'm trying to like step up my game like I'm not like drinking like I wasn't in college anymore I'm more like drinking like nice cocktails and stuff like I enjoy that now more so so I want to like kind of get good at it yeah so that's everything I picked up I'm about to get back to work for the last three or four hours of the work day I finished stranger things in the background of me working it's officially five so I'm done with work for the day I need to fold my towels I did a lot of laundry and then we're gonna go get in a leg workout. And then I'm going straight from my workout tonight to dinner with some of my girls from school. I'm not gonna be looking super cute for dinner. I'm literally gonna go in my clothes I've been wearing all day and wearing to the gym, but that's okay. I'm just excited to have a really good dinner. We're in a Goodyear house, which is in Noda. I've really been enjoying the Noda area lately. If you know Charlotte, it's like one of the parts of the city, I guess. Let's fold some laundry. 
and get ready to head out the door. Shameless plug, I'm trying to get back into TikTok, keyword trying, but I have posted a couple. So go follow me over there if you don't already. About to put on my leg day shoes. I've been wearing my Nike blazers as gym shoes lately and I really like them. So they've kind of converted to my gym shoes these days. And I'm gonna take some pre and we are gonna go get in a good leg day and then go straight to my girls dinner. So I'll try to get a few clips of that but then I will catch up with you guys in the morning, of course. Hello guys. I had a dentist appointment today on my lunch break, so I haven't checked in with you guys yet today. I pretty much have been doing the usual coffee. I went on my morning walk, been working. I need to get my wisdom teeth removed. They've been telling me for years, so today was my consultation. I'm just waiting for a quote for that price, and then I'll try to get it scheduled, so. That's what I was doing today. Very exciting stuff, the wisdom teeth removal. I would say most of my friends have already done it, so I'm like late on the bandwagon, so. Not that getting your teeth pulled is bandwagon, but like your wisdom teeth come in in your late teens, early 20s, so. Yeah, I'm gonna head home and get back to work for the rest of the day. I'm feeling super hungry, so my energy is low at the moment. I got my quotes from the doctor and I'm scheduled for September 23rd for my wisdom teeth removal. I know it's kind of far out, but as you guys know, I just kind of started my new job, so I want to like build up my PTO and stuff over the summer. I don't really have any big trips planned for the summer because uh, I just want to, you know, get the ball rolling with the, my job and with, like I said, saving up PTO and stuff. So end of the summer, but right before holidays so that hopefully I'll be good to go before all that. So yeah, September 23rd, wisdom teeth will come out and I am doing the full IV sedation. I've got my setup here. I'm headed down to use my grills in my apartment. I'm going to grill up the chicken I've been marinating for like two days. And then one of my friends in my apartment is gonna meet me down there and she made a salad and we are going to eat dinner. So I have some rice, I heat it up. We're gonna grill the chicken and then we're gonna eat and it's gonna be great. This is my first time grilling by myself. I've used these grills a few times with my boyfriend but not by myself. But I'm excited because I feel like I know what I'm doing. So gonna head over there. Friday. Let's start off the day with a ginger shot. These are the ones from Trader Joe's. Hopefully it'll wake us up and get us going on this Friday. I am hosting a pregame tonight, expecting a few packages, hopefully because my outfit is in one of those packages and I will be so upset if it doesn't come. It already got delayed. It was supposed to be here tomorrow. It got delayed. And I have, also have a nail appointment today, which these bad boys need them so bad. You can't really tell, but you know how when you get a light color, they like start to like get discolored? Well, that has been happening. Cheers, hope you all have had a wonderful week thus far. That one burned. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple of my Amazon packages came in. First for myself, I got these shoes. I know these are like super trendy, like the Dolce Vita ones, but I wanted some in two days because I wanted to wear them tonight. And I honestly think these are like 40 bucks, so they're not terrible. Um, I just tried them on. My feet are so bad right now. I need a pedicure, so I'm not going to show you, but they fit perfectly true to size. So I will link them. I think they're super cute. I don't like really tall heels because I'm 5'8". So this is like the perfect amount of heel to like elongate my legs a little bit, but not make me six foot three. I do really like these, super cute. I think like 40 bucks or so. True to size, I will link them. Perfect summer sandal. And then I thought this top was really cute. And like I, when I shop for my friends, I look at things that I would want. 
and this is something that I would have wanted but I know wouldn't fit my body type because my boobs are way too big for it but it would look super cute on my friend Sam so it's like this little what are these like milkmaid sleeves and then as you can see it like cuts out at the boobs super cute little top so I got this for her birthday and then I also got her some gold hoops which I'm waiting to come in the mail hopefully they come today also from Amazon so this is part of her gift so that's a couple of the packages again just waiting for two more items one is a skirt that I want to wear tonight and then one is some hoops so hopefully that all comes in starting to get the pregame stuff ready i think i showed you guys this but i'm gonna put some salsa chips presents my friend is bringing cupcakes and balloons and stuff and then i'm gonna set up like a drink station over here so i've got cups some vodka and i have a couple things of lemonade for some mixers so i'll organize it a little bit better but just kind of setting everything out right now and it is just about time for me to go get my nails done so i'm excited i think i'm gonna do hot pink french tips that's what i want to do so let's go do some nails i am back from my nail appointment it has majorly started storming outside but here are the nails i did the hot pink tips she had some trouble doing the french with the pink we tried like three different pinks because she kept saying some of the pinks were too like thick so they wouldn't really work because i do dip powder if you were wondering finally we found one that was like fine enough and it's by gel envy i don't know the shade though pretty happy with them i never do color and i know this isn't that much color but it is for me <laughs> so i am about to start getting ready it is five o'clock I'm gonna go and shower because my hair will probably get a little bit wet so that I can dry and stuff. I am expecting my company very soon. Just took a shower. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this week in my life. I definitely enjoyed taking you guys along. Make sure you subscribe, join the fam. And with that being said, I will see you all so very soon in my next video. Bye guys.